first batch of what are they? Brim? Brim. From where? St. John's River. St. John's River. And they're trying to swim upstream. Did you tell them if they went out? Uh, I didn't, but it'll be on the film. <laughs> so hopefully, they'll be plenty happy in there. Not that I'll get any image of them with the camera. Because I'm pretty sure they went straight to the bottom. Well, they pretty effectively vanished. They're pretty effectively going underneath your. Uh, You're there's, hiding. There's one there. Yeah. If they're dead, they'll come to the top, right? Sure. Yeah. Nice. Recording. All right. Uh, so hopefully it's not too dark. Um, we did just f almost finish the uh, the maggot bucket uh, for feeding the fish automatically with some uh, black soldier fly larva. Uh, what we did was, hopefully the video caught most of that, we use some vinyl uh, vertical, blinds. vertical blinds, yeah, to come up the side with a nice thick filter down at the bottom, so uh, maggots and food chunks don't go through, and it can still drain. The uh, grubs will come up this when they're ready, to, when they're mature, go through the hole, and then on the outside, the grub will drop out, and then hopefully drop right down into the pond and feed the fish. Um, there are several versions online that cost 250 bucks. Well, there's 180. Um, and this was five for the tub, five. ten for the golf ball practice wiffles. Uh, it was three bucks for the filter. So say twenty ish. Twenty bucks instead of 180. Uh, and hopefully it'll work. Uh, and when we have some nice grubs crawling up it, uh, I'll do some more footage.